This is the most famous pepper in the pepper lovers community. It's time to taste the pain. What's up everybody? My name is Boss. I'm a gardener, a lover of all things spicy. Welcome to another episode of Taste the Pain. Today I am looking at the one, the only, Kangstar Lemon Starburst. So the Kangstar Lemon Starburst is a pepper of legend, if you have partaken in any piece of the pepper lovers community. Kangstar is the man behind the community, really. Way back in the days of G+, there was this awesome community called Pepper Lovers. Um, Kangstar set that up. He creates a lot of pepper crosses. This guy is amazing. If you haven't checked his videos, be absolutely sure to go subscribe to him. I will leave a link below because if you're not following Gangstar, why are you watching my channel? Come on. This pepper though is kind of the legend. We even have a map tracking everywhere across the world that this pepper is being grown or has been grown. Uh, the original was a cross of an MOA Scotch bonnet and Bahamian goat. Really cool, really cool pepper. I have grown this a few times. Admittedly, my luck has not been great. When I get a good yield, they don't have a good pheno. When I get a good pheno, I only get a couple of peppers. This was sent to me by my friend Matt at mattspeppers.com. Awesome dude. Some of the best seeds for peppers on the internet, period. Dude is amazing. Rare varieties, beautiful varieties, his own crosses as well. Check out mattspeppers.com. Not sponsored, just an awesome guy, awesome website, awesome seeds, great peppers. So with no further ado, I am going to slice this bad boy open and we're gonna have a taste. All right, we're gonna one hand chop this so that I can lazy cam it again. Here we go. Nice. Look at that beauty. Not a ton of membrane in this particular pepper. Um, several that I've grown have a meteor heart there. You can see the other side is pretty much the same. Uh, decent amount of seeds clustered in the middle there, but what a beautiful pepper. Look at that thing. Really. Work of art. Kangstar. You never cease to amaze. That sounded a little weird, didn't it? Cool pepper, bro, is what I meant to say. Anyhow, I'm gonna take one more look at the inside of this sucker because it is truly stunning. I love this pepper. Perfectly cut with one hand, I'm gonna say. Look at the symmetry there. You should be impressed. <laughs> I'm back. I just took a bunch of photos of this thing because it's beautiful. Follow me on Instagram. You'll probably see those photos all right um i am going to scrape the seeds out because i want to save these ones it's the best looking pheno i've seen in a long time so i would love to grow these in my garden next year if you would like to grow the kangstar lemon starburst join the pepper lovers community don't buy it it wasn't for sale for pretty much its entire existence recently kangstar made a announcement I guess that people could sell it if they wanted to um, if they grew it themselves and wanted to sell the seeds but truth is it's been such a cool part of the community I think it's one of the things that drew me to the pepper lovers community honestly is the way that people decide to help each other out grow a pepper and respect each other so when somebody says hey please don't sell this share it with your friends I, I want to keep that alive I'd rather do that than try and offer seeds for sale or anything like that so I got all of my Kangstar lemon starburst seeds from my friends who I met in the pepper lovers community G plus is gone but we're on discord that's where I am all the darn time uh, reddit Facebook MeWe, anywhere that you want to come online and interact with other people there's probably a pepper lovers community group check us out come say hi you might end up making a friend who will send you some of these seeds for free. These are pretty hot. I think they're typically around the same heat of a Bahamian goat, like 250 to 350,000 Scoville heat units. It's the Kangstar Lemon Starburst. It's time to taste the pain. Wow. 
So sweet, that front. <clears throat> Getting a little hot. It does have a tiny bit of a floral overtone. Common of, you know, the Bahamian goat. Bit of that scotch bonnet flavor too. Uh, it's just perfect. So it is sweet, very fruity in my opinion. While it is lemon in the name, it doesn't taste like a lemon at all to me. I would say it's more of a melony sweetness than a citrusy sweetness. There is that floral note, like I mentioned. It's a nice slow burn. While it is hot, it's not melt your face, super sharp, spicy heat, right? Overall, I think probably not as hot, at least in this particular example, as a really hot Bahamian goat, but it's up there. I mean, it's like your average orange habanero you might get at a supermarket, but much, much, much better flavor. Better burn too. Very even across my mouth. My tongue is tingling, my cheeks are tingling, the back of my throat a little bit. It's not really burning down my throat, which is great, but it's such a nice flat burn. I don't like a real sharp burn. If I'm gonna eat and enjoy a pepper, even if it's hot, right? This is a hot pepper. I don't mean to downplay that. But if it has a nice, even flat burn, I love it. I can't get enough of the lemon starburst because it's that perfect balance for me. It's refreshing, it's sweet, tiny bit of floral. Floral's not a bad thing, guys. I don't, I mean, there's a lot of people that say, I hate floral peppers, but it's a great flavor. It's part of the experience. It's, it's what makes each pepper variety unique, right? Maybe it's floral, maybe it's not. Maybe it's sweet, maybe it's not. Maybe it's grassy, maybe it's earthy, maybe it's smoky, maybe it's berry flavored. Huge variety. I can't stress enough. If you want to get into peppers, join the Pepper Lovers community. Great people, tons of knowledge. We help each other out. We share cool things that we're making. I have grown so many awesome F1, F2, F5, F8 crosses from friends that I met online. It's going to wrap it up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to learn more about Kangstar Pepper Lovers community, I'll leave links in the description. Remember, plants help us grow. We will see you very soon. Peace.